Hey guys, it's Amy Downer, so again, long time no see. Today is exciting. I'm going to be moving the guinea pigs into the side room like they used to be before. I'm quite excited to have them here. So, a few years, I haven't really reacted to one here. I haven't really done much with the guinea pigs, of course. I've looked after them, fed them, and all that, given them my all like I used to. Um, but since I'm on a gap year, an impromptu gap year, I thought I might as well make the most of my time with them and move them back in here. They were in here a couple of winters ago when it got really icy outside, but I'm just going to move them in anyway. So that room did actually turn into my shop room or my made for paws shop where I sell guinea pig accessories. This is the room. So I've moved quite a lot of my shop stuff out. It's in the other room. Just some boxes and Christmas presents and stuff. So I have my little business card wall um, and this sign, which I've had for ages, if you guys remember. Um, Charlotte made it for me, who was Busy Pig. We did it in like a swap. It's a little sign, so I'm going to put that up. Got this little pot, I'll probably put their grooming stuff in it. Um, that's from my shop stuff. So I need to move that mixing out, put fleece down, pen it off because I don't want it all in all over this bit of floor. <laughs> so noisy. Hi, guys. In the shed, I'm just grabbing them some fleece items to take up. So you need a fleece to go on the floor, it's such a mess. Um, I'm going to take the pink one for now. I'll do it green. Green or pink? I think pink because it's the cleanest and nicest one. I have some made for paws merch. Um, what else am I going to need? I'll take those too. Hello! Hello, are you exciting? Yeah, you're saying hi, buds. Come here. Good girl. Don't nibble me. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll come in, yeah. Pizza awaits. No, I just filmed I did an update for a couple of weeks I wanted the guinea pigs to settle in and because they've been outside for a while um, and I hadn't been around them as much they weren't as tame but now I've brought them inside they are much more friendly so I've got this house in here which I ordered off bunnies that lunch I think it was yeah it's like the guinea pig like winter cottage and the pigs love it I got one of these before I don't know if you remember my videos but they're loving that so I've got this which was a cozy cube from my shop made for paws just folded in so it's like a little cuddle cup they have a fleece tunnel, which is also from my shop, made for paws. And they have a cozy beds and burrows Christmassy house. In their little food corner, they have another made for paws, little um, cage mat, which is good for like catching water bottle drips. This wooden holder, I think it's from eBay somewhere. And then their home bargains, paws off my Christmas dinner bowl. Put their dirty fleece stuff in the Viva wash bag, which I have a video on. I don't know if the discount code still works, but I wash all the fleece in here. It protects the washing machine from the hair and straw. So I thought I'd go ahead some of the wooden hides to put back in as well. So I've just made that into a little corner thing here, which means Acorn can climb on it. Lola doesn't climb as much, but Acorn does like to look at them both displaying. So this is how it is all looking now. I've just got the, I don't think I explained it in the other video, just one of these pens. can't remember what, what it was called or where it was from, but I think it might have been Amazon. But that just pens around it. Quite a few different hides in that room. It's quite interesting in there. Um, I've got their two hay trays that I just need to fill up. I've just put some scrap paper in there. So I just keep their food in the tin here. They have the marriages feed and the science select. Their brushes goes in here. On this bit of the table, which actually has all my boxes from my shop. Um, usually has this here, which has their grooming and stuff. Then they have this bag with their pea flakes in and their Timothy hay from Pets at Home. Put in their hay, I've got this forage pack from Pride Rock Blooms, which usually is just hamster forage and stuff but I got them to do a custom one for my pigs so I just sprinkled that in their hay to make it a little bit more interesting um their account is on Instagram and they have a website as well if you're interested in forage usually I put one at the back against under the radiator but 
I don't have the space now, I've just filled it, so I'm not really sure where to put the other one here. They've got quite a full enclosure, but it looks quite fun today. Are you going to my knees? Come here. See, before I never used to be able to like, they would never come out if I was sat here when I first put them in my room because they weren't very tame then. But now they are especially little acorn. No, it's more interested in the hay. <laughs> but acorn. She doesn't really like pea flakes also. I don't know if anyone's guinea pigs do that. I know loads of guinea pigs do like pea flakes, but acorn does a lot. Loads is not really fussy. He's bloody whining. He doesn't like it when I sit in here with them. He's fine with them in my room. Um, but he's not very good. If he sees me in there with them, then he gets a bit jealous. So I'm quite happy with how it looks actually. I put that on top of the fleecy thing one because they like being cozy and because I don't want it to make so much mess all over my floor, their floor even. Wait, because I've got enough snacks. Hey, Lola. Hey, yeah. I've also had a few questions on my Instagram about whether I'm going to get more guinea pigs like now if I move them in or, I don't know, more pets. And I haven't really updated, but I got my A-level results in August and it meant that I've got an offer for vet med next year at um, university which means I can't really take on any more pets if I am planning on moving out to uni next year. <laughs> no, you. So I can't get any more at the moment, which is sad. I was thinking though that I might carry on this channel when I go to university and do a bit of like an insight of what it's like to study vet med because I know a lot of you have the same sort of career ideas or like vet nursing or something like that. I'd quite like to do vet nursing, seems short a course, but I'll keep you all updated. So yeah, I hope you like the enclosure and a bit of an update on the pigs and how they're doing.